Hello friends, welcome to Chellas Katruner. In this video, let us understand the difference between PPK and CPK because everybody gets confused what is, I mean, with these two terminologies. So in this video, let us understand that. So what is process capability? So this is a statistical method to evaluate the process consistency. So there are two indices, CP, CPK. It shows how much the process capable to meet its specification limits. So it indicates different thing of a process capability. CP talks about spread the range of outputs and CPK talks about centering of the process. So how much sender it is to the specification limit. And based on the results, even decision made for improvement or amount of correction also can be taken out of this CP and CPK values. Uh, when it's required to follow the or perform the process capability. So normally it is followed for a critical major parameters that's a significant characteristics. Like critical means the parameters which affect the government regulations or safety functions in the field. Or major means it affects the fitment parameters at the customer end during assembly, final assembly or sub assemblies. So for these critical and major parameters, normally we do the process capability. Even it is initial, during initial development it is followed because based on the output of PPK and uh, PP values, the decision is made that process is capable, it can be approved for regular production. And the regular also, it is being followed because we want to keep on watch on the critical uh, processes as well as parameters. So if, it, if there is anything goes wrong, that indication comes in this process capability study so that it gives a consistent output or if it is, if there is a requirement of correction, it indicates well in advance to the supplier. So let us understand the difference between long term and short term capability. So first let us understand long term capability study. It is followed during initial process development. So quantity of production trial run, initial trial run is defined by customer. If it is a, I mean costly or less requirement parts, the volume even can be followed up to 32, minimum 32 or maximum it goes up to 300 numbers or one shift production. So completion, after completion of all products, that product is taken for a process capability study during by inspection. That is why it stays only the past performance. So after completion of complete production batch, this study is being followed and normally full batch is taken. Minimum 32 numbers is a thumb rule and histogram is made to represent the complete distribution of all data. So acceptance criteria is PPK should be one point more than 1.67. That means the current process is utilizing only 60 percentage of specification so that customer gets a confidence these critical major parameters will be achieved in a consistent way in the longer run. So next one is short term capability study. It is performed during regular production. So it predicts the future consistency because here we take only sample batches, smaller size sample batches. Every hour if there is a 20, 25 numbers output then we take one random samples like a 4 or 5 numbers averaging it and we take a reading by that this calculation is done. So it is only it is predicting that calculation results are predicting the consistency of a process in the future. I mean the near future. So that's what it's saying. It's a pre prediction of future consistency. So if anything goes wrong, this rational sample output will give an indication. So sub the manufacturer has to that means supplier has to immediately act on it. So that control chart is used denote the distribution that control chart is deployed on the, the manufacturing site in continuous manner and the acceptance criteria is 1.33 because it's a regular production so supplier can utilize the 75 percentage of tolerance of a I mean tolerance of the specification of the parameter. So normally people get confused the long term should be used in the regular run and short term should be used in the product initial run. Don't go on the name you just understand PPK has, will be done during initial studies uh, that terminology is followed in the initial studies and CPK is followed in the regular production 
and the acceptance criteria varies because initial study so we give a stringent target that is what 1.67 is being followed the longer run 1.33 that is a cpk it is acceptable so cpk is new development initial batch process capability index and cpk is the regular production process capability index this is the difference and acceptance criteria and calculation methods also it varies in both cases and sample batches everything it varies friends hope you got a basic clarity about ppk and cpk difference so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching thank you